What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, XOXO Shiba here. If you're new to the channel, hello and welcome. And if you're an OG subscriber, what's good? Welcome back. Obviously, I got a wig cap on, so it is a wig review. And it's a new brand. I've never worked with them before called Dorsini Hair. It did come with a few goodies inside. Let me open the box again. It came with some wig caps. I love wig brands for this reason because I'm never running out of wig caps. I couldn't tell you the last time I bought a wig cap. An elastic band, I couldn't tell you the last time I bought one of these either. And the most impressive thing in this box, well, the goodies part, not the hair part. But look at these lashes, y'all. The lashes actually look good, you guys. Like, this is crazy. They're thin enough. They're wispy. Like, these are good lashes. Because y'all know how hair brands be doing us. They'll send you some free lashes, but they're, like, super bulky and just ugly. <laughs> these are giving. These will be worn. Not today, though, because I got on lash extensions. Not today, though, because I got on the little Kiss Lash extensions. But anyways, this is the wig. They sent me a 4x4 straight hair closure. I can't remember the last time I really did silky straight human hair. I know I just did. No, that was a yaki straight. It just get really silky. I know I did one with the synthetic that was giving silky straight even though it was supposed to be yucky but an actual like silky straight bust down middle part I ain't done that in a minute. It does come with the baby hairs already sectioned out in the front. It doesn't come pre-bleached but it does come somewhat I would say pre-plucked like it's not the worst pre-plucked job. It's actually a very good pre-plucked job now that I'm looking at that. Y'all see them dips? But if you're the type of person who likes having baby hairs on your wigs then that's still gonna be a good thing for you. And they're already like sectioned out to go forward. So you straight. It's giving transparent lace, and this is not HD, this is regular lace. So since I didn't bleach the knots, cause I am trying to keep this simple, since it's like more of a pop on and go, closure style glueless wig, I am going to use my liquid foundation on the lace, so that way it really sticks and covers those knots. I'm using my Buildable Blur from Thrive. It is a CC cream that's tinted. It works really well. It is a CC cream that's tinted, and if you're looking for something for your actual face, it's got SPF 40 in it, so I love this stuff, especially in the summer. So I'm gonna just put some on my foundation brush here, and I'm gonna start at the back, so that way most of the like bulk of the product hits the back. Because hitting the front, is gonna make your life difficult when you're trying to install the unit all the way. See that, I just started at the back of the unit and then I just kind of bring it down and then it tints the whole thing. But it doesn't leave me with like too much on the front. See how it's like too much in the back a little bit? That would happen to me in the front if I didn't do that starting up here. I'm also gonna tint my cap, so that looks right. I'm not doing a ball cap, I'm trying to keep it simple for you guys. I also just don't feel like doing a ball cap. But you can never go wrong with a ball cap. A ball cap is never a bad idea if you feel like doing the intricacies of doing all that. So trying this unit on, this is actually a really good fit. It's very snug to the head without doing too much. Like it's not uncomfortable. I did adjust the straps in the back to the tightest way they could have it because I got a small back of the head. And then what I'm gonna do right now is just pluck out these baby hairs. I feel like if you're going to do no baby hair, you're always gonna have to like, you know, just touch up the hairline a little bit to make it really look natural because you can't get away with nothing if you ain't got no baby hair. There's no like disguise. Baby hair is like makeup for a wig. So one thing I've noticed y'all from actually installing other people's wigs more is that it's just me out here that really needs to pluck super far back. I feel like if you're not gonna do a ball cap and you have a small forehead, you're gonna have to like pluck just a little bit farther back. Cause I did somebody else's wig and she had a larger forehead than me and I literally plucked her whole hairline and it was just took me like five minutes max. Whereas mine, I'm like, let me go three rows back. off since we're doing this glueless if I was gonna do this with spray then I would probably tack this down before I cut the lace off the lace is actually looking really good I didn't think it was going to blend down like this I can't really see it a whole lot the knots looks kind of big to me so maybe I'm wrong I think this might be HD I actually take it back I think this is actually HD I'm gonna double check and I'll put it in the description for sure 
Cause it's giving HD. If it's not, that's crazy. So y'all, I actually ran out of foam. I look crazy right now. I actually ran out of foam, so we're actually gonna see how this turns out without me using a thing. Usually, I gotta use a little something, but this time I got nothing, so we're gonna see how it goes. If it doesn't work out, I'm probably going to put just a little tiny bit of something on there just to hold it down just a little bit. We love a good, simple, and low-maintenance unit, and this one is pretty simple and low-maintenance. I am flattening out the top, and that didn't take much work, cause I even forgot to use a wax stick. My wax actually ran out so i gotta get another one so i was just going in it with just the heat alone and it still flattened out pretty well for me i did have to go through it a few more times but you know it still worked out i decided to shift it because the way the wig was sitting on my head just wasn't giving for the middle part it was kind of giving cone head a little i, I would say if my hair was like braided down a little bit flatter because my braids are kind of old it would probably sit a little flatter but for me i was like oh let's move this to the side i needed to disguise that a little bit I also went back and plucked a little more of the hair out because sitting on my head, again, I don't have a lot of forehead. It just wasn't showing enough skin to make it look like, you know, you can kind of see scalp through the edges. It wasn't giving enough of that. And y'all know I'm not a baby hair girl. And I was talking all that smack about how I wasn't going to do baby hair. But I am actually going to do one little side of baby hair for this one. Now, I'm not tacking the wig all the way down with the got to be. It's not even got to be. It's Evan. I'm not tacking the wig all the way down, but I am just adding that little side of baby hair using the got to be. Because I don't run out of everything. I need to make a store run, honestly. Since the hair is silky straight, I didn't have to do too much as far as flat ironing the hair. I just wanted to get the little bumps and waves out of it. But it didn't take much. I got to do it in very large pieces. So again, this is a very low maintenance unit. I love a quick and easy unit. And I know you guys do too because y'all tell me that all the time. I be making stuff look complicated. This is very very uncomplicated minimal products and all uncomplicated like this is very much pop it on and go i can't even believe i'm doing this without any type of adhesive on my head while the hair is silky straight it is really smooth but it does have like a slight bit of texture i would say to it just a little bit but i felt like it was really good on the tangling and the shedding i didn't have too many issues i don't usually have too many issues with human hair as far as that goes but this one was doing well as well i have a wax stick i got the bright idea to just use a little bit of the ebon spray i had left and you know of course i added some layers but give me some credit i haven't added layers to a wig in a minute i did today though sorry y'all the wig just needed some layers in the front i needed a little 90s layered action so that's what i added to it just a little add a little extraness to it there i don't like a boring unit i had to make it a little more fun Originally, I was going for that bumped under layered look, but it wasn't giving what I wanted it to do at the moment. So I just decided to bump it under, but then do it, you know, so it's feathered back. So that's what I went for. And this was the final result. Very quick and easy, super cute unit. If you're interested, it's down below in the description box. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.